Speaking of French wine, people think of Bordeaux, and for Spanish wine, Yoha is definitely second to none. The winemaking history in Yoha could date back to 2,000 years ago, but its modern winery has not come into being until the mid 19th century. Luciano de Mugida is a name cannot be missed in the history of modern Yoha winemaking. He spent three years studying winemaking in Bordeaux in the late 1840s and absorbed many French techniques before returning to Yoha in 1852 to launch his own enterprise, Marquis de Mugida. As his wine gained fame around the world, Other producers came and started his techniques. From this, the modern era of wine production in Yoha was born. We are now at the heart of Chateau Igai. This winery is the first one in Yoha. There were wines 80,000 bottles here, from 1852 vintage to the latest vintage. We will be put back here when we finish the new building. Vincent Damal, Count of Crescier, is now the driving force behind Marquis de Mugida. This young owner inherited property from his father in 1996 and operated this one of world's best chateaus with both pride in history and progressive ideas towards future. We have a history over 150 years, and we are renovating now. We will finish the new Chateau Igai and the museum in 2010. A new winery also will be built here. The Igai estate, not far from the city of Rogrono, was brought by Luciano de Mujida in 1878. It includes 300 hectares of prime vineyards in the southernmost part of La Yoja Alta. The extension of the estate enables the chateau to be one of the few Spanish wineries to produce all of its wines from its own vineyards. Now we are in our vineyard called Igai, the Igai Estate. It is a single vineyard of 300 hectares that go around the winery. Uh, here we are. We see the single vineyard called Canajas, from which we produce our key wine called Res uh, Dalmau. And here behind me, you, we may we enjoy our beautiful Balsalo Valley, where we grow all of our key red grapes. Tempranillo, Mazuelo, Garnacha, and Graciano. All a blending of these for uh, red grapes give rise, give birth to our main wine, the wine that carries the name of the winery called Marques de Murrieta. The vineyard boasts of an excellent terroir, a well-drained soil, rich in mineral deposits, and with a surprising number of large stones. Ensuring grapes of a complexity rarely found in the region. In this valley, whose age average will be around 30 years old, see we do not irrigate, we do not water the vineyard. That's why we grow really small grapes. Small grapes also mean mean、uh, quality. Small grapes with a thick skin, with a lot of color concentrated in there, with a lot of Texture and density in the grapes that later will show in the wine. There are mainly four red and one white varietals planted here. The chateau has a strict control over the quality of the grapes. This small single vineyard, we grow really low yields. We make a green pruning during the ripening, just before the the harvest in October, and then we leave only three、uh, thousand kilos of of grapes per hectare, which is really really low because the regulations allow us to grow six thousand kilos of of grapes per hectare. We sacrifice. Quantity in Marques de Morieta in search of, of、uh, quality. Harvesting takes place between September and October, and lasts for approximately four weeks.
We picked every single bunch by hand, uh, thanks to a team of 60 people that we have in the, in the vineyard. The grapes will then be transported in small trailers directly to the winery to avoid any oxidation. After disturbing, fermenting, pressing, the aging oak barrel starts. Marquis de Mugida was the first Yoha Bodega to age wine in oak barrels, a practice considered extravagant at the time, but a very common in Yoha at the present. Our Marcus de Mugeta brand of reserve wine could be bought in over 62 countries. The wine is kept for two years in barrels and two years in bottles before being sold. The secret of the sustained fame of Marquis Mugeta lies in that it has been able to maintain the seller's identity while at the same time renewing it. We are now in the final room, where the bottling takes place. Here we have three million bottles. We are very careful with the bottling, cleaning and the labeling process. We are ready for China. There are mainly four wines produced here, three red and one white. The first is Marquis de Mugida Red Reserve, the wine that carries the name of the chateau. The second wine is Castillo de Igai, the flagship wine of the winery. It is made only when the year has been excellent for the wine. It is the most classical and historical label in your heart. On its right, there is Daimao. Another red wine, for people who really are experts in wine culture, we have a very small production. The last one is a very surprising white wine, different from others, because it's treated as red wine in its production and is aged for 17 months in barrels. The output of Marquis de Mugida Red Reserve is the highest among the four, about 1 million bottles a year. This wine is a traditional Yoha with the classic Mugida signature and it enjoys all the benefits of modern winemaking philosophy, equipment and techniques. The year 2004 was an excellent vintage. The first step is to look at the color in the glass. To enjoy it best, we invite you to use indirect white light with a white backdrop. The second step is decanting. For me, wine is like a closed flower in the morning. It opens and releases its beauty and aromas with more light, oxygen and temperature. The wine blossoms in the glass.
En boca se ve que es un vino untuoso, graso. The nose is well duro. structured, elegant, with the hints of red fruits. It is perfectly matured. The wine smooth, oily, with tannins integrated, and an exquisite impression of silky fruits. Excellent vintage signifies the beginning of a new era of winemaking at Marquisi Mugita, which is considered one of the best wineries in the world. Like his enterprising predecessors, Vincent has a great ambition over his wine business, and his new focus is China. Marquis de Murrieta, with his short production, a winery sells over 50% of wines outside Spain. The wines are present in 62 countries, including China. All efforts of our team are now on Asia, especially on China. We want to transfer the culture of wine to Asia and share our ideas and philosophy with China. We believe China will change and modify the offer and the demand of the wine market. China is a very important country for us.